Representative from New Jersey, Representative Menendez. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Ranking Member Larson. Thank you, Chairman Graves, for your leadership on this bill. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to discuss the Securing Growth and Robust Leadership in American Aviation Act and the positive impact it will have on air transportation for both consumers and workers in the aviation industry. Over the past few months, I've worked alongside my colleagues on the Transportation Infrastructure Committee to develop a strong, bipartisan bill that delivers for all Americans, and that's exactly what this legislation does. Under this bill, airlines will be required to develop policies to reimburse consumers for hotel and meal costs when a flight is canceled or significantly delayed. Passengers living with disabilities will be treated with the dignity they deserve thanks to the Department of Transportation's creation of a roadmap to better accommodate wheelchairs on board planes and to reduce damage to mobility aids. Future airline pilots, technical workers, and airline manufacturing workers will come from communities that have been historically underrepresented in the aviation industry, with $9 million in funding for recruitment and retainment efforts for these good-paying, highly skilled jobs. And families will have an easier flying experience with airlines being required to allow parents to sit next to their young children. I'm also pleased that important provisions of my bill, the Airline Employee Assault Prevention Act, were included in this FAA reauthorization, ensuring a continued focus on protecting airline workers from assault and harassment. This legislation reflects the voices of our residents who have long been burdened with flight delays, with unjust treatment of passengers with disabilities, and with conditions that have made flying more challenging for families. I proudly support this bill and look forward to voting for it on the floor, and I urge all my colleagues to join me in doing so. Thank you, and I yield back. Gentleman from Washington.